sorry if my hair looks a little bit weird. I'm in the process of getting my roots fixed. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Liana if you're new and today we're going to talk about the stuff that you need if you're a lady. <laughs> There are many things that we need as women and these are the few necessities that I came up with that now I cannot live without. So yeah, let's get right into it. The first thing that I've really grown to love recently is nipple covers. There's a picture of a naked lady here. Um, but these silicone nipple covers are really freaking great because sometimes you don't want to wear a bra because it'll show and you just take one of these bad boys. These are sticky and all you have to do is just peel it from the plastic and just yeah, they're reusable too. You just have to rinse them after every wash to keep them clean and you can use them for as long as you like until they get really crusty. <laughs> and they're really great for like cute little tops where it's really hard to conceal a bra under there or like if a bra is just too chunky and uncomfortable. Um, these are just really great. If you don't want to use the silicone ones, you can use the ones that are actually stickers. I was using these for two years, three years, I think, before I bought the silicone ones. Um, these are okay, but they uh, they kind of they kind of make your boobs all chafed and stuff. So yeah, I mean, these are okay, but make sure to moisturize your boobs before you put them on. Um, and they're like little flowers. And the only problem I really have with these are that when you stick them on, it kind of doesn't go on flat because it's a round surface. So then it kind of has like creases and folds. But if you have like a thicker top, then it doesn't really matter. And these are a lot cheaper too, and they come in like packs of 20, 10, I don't know. And another thingy for your boobs is this sticky bra. You can put each side on one boob and then clip it together or just go like this. And they're really great for um, backless dresses or cute little tops again. But the nipple stickers are definitely more practical for um, thinner tops where you can kind of see through. Another necessity, I guess, would be Nice underwear! And this is the only time that I'm gonna show my underwear on camera. Um, so yeah, this is a thong. Believe it or not, I did not own a thong until I was like in college. <laughs> All throughout high school, I just wore like the kind of panties that you get in a pack that you get from like a discount store or like Walmart or something. Um, yeah, just because they were the ones that I had, I didn't really think it was necessary to get like fancy underwear because I wasn't having sex with anybody, so like... You know, it's not really necessary to have nice underwear, but actually it's really practical to have thongs because when you're wearing tight leggings Anyway, this is my preference when you wear a thong the leggings don't have underwear lines and that honestly is the most flattering for your booty I wear thongs most of the time now because uh, When I go to the gym, I wear leggings and I don't want like big old underwear lines unless I'm on my period then you know gotta pull out the granny panties but most of the time I will wear thongs and you should also have a large enough underwear collection so that when you wash your delicates and use like a small cycle it won't be such a waste of water I have around like 30 to 40 pairs of underwear so I think a decent collection of panties is very necessary you should have nude underwear for leggings that are a little bit see-through um, or skirts that are a little bit see-through or dresses that are a little bit see-through so that you could match your skin tone practical underwear for when you're on your period so when I'm on my period I will wear something like this it's larger, it holds pads um, and it's still snug against your body so that you know if you gotta wear leggings at least it won't look that bad <laughs> I call this the underwear for when you're on your period but you still want to wear something tight underwear another necessity is a large stash of period stuff you got the large pads for the first two days you got the normal size pads for the third and fourth day and you got the liners for the rest so definitely have a large collection stashed in your closet for <laughs> emergencies I like to have a lot of backup so that I don't always have to worry about buying pads every single month I just have a large stash and when they run out I'm like oh it's time to buy pads and that happens like maybe every four or five months so yeah buy your pads in bulk because you know you're gonna bleed out of your vagina anyway, so get some. Or get tampons, whatever you use. Get your menstrual cup or whatever. Not everybody knows about these. I really, really love it. It's called Snappy Heat. And basically it's a hand warmer, but I use these for my period cramps. I get really, really bad period cramps. And all you have to do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna activate one of these just for the video. <laughs> all you have to do is find this little metal thing, snap it, and then an exothermic reaction happens. Uh-huh.
and it all solidifies. And then it's hot, very warm. And then you just put it on your stomach cramps, put it wherever you want, your lower back. Feels really good, really good for uh, easing the cramps and the pain. And also when it's like freezing outside, any other girls that like cold all the time, these are really freaking useful and they're only 20 something dollars on Amazon for like a pack of eight and you can boil them to um, reuse them as many times as you want. I first got introduced to these by a male teammate on my dragon boat team and he was passing these out and he's like, here, give these to people who get cold on the boat. And I'm like, oh my god, I need these. I didn't know about these until like two years ago and I use them religiously every time I have period cramps. Very useful. And the next thing to get is shoe insoles. These things. The things that you can stick in your shoe to make it softer and not hurt as bad. Because, come on, this is a really cute shoe but not comfortable. So you gotta do all you can to make walking easier. Is it just me or like every time I come home from like a long ass day, my feet hurt. I don't know. I'm like, I'm a size 5 and like ever since I've gained weight like I feel like it's put a lot of pressure on my feet I don't know if that's like a real thing, but yeah, your feet have to go through a lot So treat them to nice insoles, okay? Also, I didn't know that insoles was a thing that like everybody did I feel like they were only for like people with foot pain But like it's come to my attention that more people use insoles than I thought most shoes especially the cheap ones aren't really made to like be worn without any other additional protection and i also have a pair of heel grips right here for the next shoe that i buy whose heel keeps slipping off my foot and these are also really great for um, making shoes fit when they don't really fit that well um when they're like little just a teeny little bit bigger than you want them to be you just put these on the back of the heel and then all of a sudden it fits <laughs> So yeah, that's all the stuff that I own as a woman and I find very, very useful and makes being a woman a lot easier because <laughs> being a woman is very difficult sometimes. <laughs> Precisely every month. <laughs> oh god. So yeah, these products have changed my life immensely and made my life a lot easier. Wearing cute outfits, making my periods easier, all that stuff, not having underwear lines. All these products I use very religiously. That's it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!